Anthony Sutton at Creighton is now an assistant athletics director here. Of course, Alex playing right here in his hometown has a great love for the school in this city and is really having an outstanding season. Arkansas now into that zone defense. I was asking Billy Kennedy today, I said, how do you attack this Arkansas zone defense? He says, I don't know. He says it's just it's hard to figure out because the way they go at it he says you don't know who's guarding whom and he said they do a great job of communicating when the guy cuts through. Russo put that shot up with a shot clock running down it was A&M's first miss and then look what happens Caruso comes back and he gets the steal and I think he thought he committed the foul well what they called it against Fred Gully no what would say is it got the numbers are one two and two one and Ted Valentine put the numbers up Caruso thought it was him no it was 12 not 21 he really did think it was on him Sean Smith 6'4 192 pound redshirt freshman from Jacksonville Florida checks into the A&M lineup and for Arkansas, number five, Anthlon Bell, 6'3", 188-pound sophomore from Memphis. And Mike Anderson has changed his defense again. They've gone back to a man-to-man -man defense. The other thing he'll do is change players as well. He's he got, will go 12 deep. He's got 12 guys right now averaging between 11 and 24 minutes a game. Antoine Space, number 24, you saw with the basketball a moment ago. Space got a hand on it, but couldn't pull down the rebound. Nice push by Madden. Arkansas always in a hurry. A&M back in good defensive position. Well, that was a nice closeout after Sean Smith found himself out of position. Jones is a driver, isn't he? Good rebound inside. Good, good play by Portis. Making it difficult to get the shot up. He may have even got a piece of the ball. Young guy, but boy, he's got a lot of poise, Larry. You can just, you know, see it in the way he carries himself out on the court. What a pretty shot as Bell was able to absorb the contact and finish with a floater. A rare two-point attempt by Athlon Bell. He gets inside the arc. I say that only because 70% of his shots this year have been threes. He leads this Arkansas team in three-point uh, baskets with 22. Kind of rare to see him get inside that arc. Well, he made it a three-point trip with that free throw. Arkansas fought back from an early 5-0 deficit. Razorbacks again showing full court pressure. And a nice job this year with their defense. Space with a pass, and there were three Razorbacks there to knock it away. Couldn't get it to go. Wow, nice. what a catch. Devontae Fitzgerald. People are going to talk about that pass, but boy, that was a tough catch. Young man out of Tucker, Georgia. Came here the first game of the year where I did against Houston. He told me he was from Tucker. I said, okay. Then he told me he wanted to be from Atlanta. I said, okay. But you got to tell me which one. <laughs> Nice post up inside. Nice. Pretty, Pretty play. play. How about that? Nowadays, Harris. Harris, a very strong player. 6'6, 230. Landis Harris, a red shirt junior out of Little Rock. Trans transfer from Houston. Brings him a physical presence, Larry. AM, after hitting its first five field goals, has really gone cold. So many different people score for Arkansas. They really don't have what I would call an outstanding score. Some guy they can look to every time the ball comes down into the half court, which is a pretty good thing. I mean, that means you've got to guard everybody out there because. Mike Anderson runs guys in and out of there. Got to have a stoplight at the score stable. Aggies thought they had a turnover, but instead they called a push in the back against Antoine Space. 
As you saw Kiko Hydar check into the Arkansas lineup. Fitzgerald with a good rebound. Boy, what a drive. And Ted Valentine says he traveled before the contact. Let's take a look at that again. Well, there's contact right there. No wonder he's got that nose bandaged up. <laughs> it's probably not the first time he's put his head down on a drive like that. Oh, nice. three. Antoine Bell, there he is. He's talking about that three-point shooting ability of his. He just put it on display. His 23rd three of the year. And that's Arkansas's oh, first lead pass. of the game. Good block. Oh, they're going to get a foul. Boy, that was a great pass down the inside. Oh, boy. And more than a little jawing going on between those two. Doug Shouse with a foul call. We'll sort it out. 